This is my long-term project. I'm calling it Red Spider. Team Baxter. This is coming together from spare parts and things I've had. I've ordered a couple things, but not too much for it. This is a repurposed Axial AX10. Um, and, well, basically it's an AX10 frame. There's not a whole lot left to it. So we got AX10 frame. I bought this second hand and it actually came with these red bent lower links. So I kind of went with that. Not sold on the tires. These are Venom tires. Um, I think they're called Ridge Lines. They offer a decent tread and I've, I've run them before on another vehicle but I don't think I'll be sticking with these. Go something 2.2, maybe something a little larger with the a wider tread pattern in there. As you can see, this is a droop, a droop crawler. It still has amazing articulation. Not that I'll ever need that much, but it'll come right on up. It's also a motor on axle crawler. These are repurposed axles from a project I made long ago that just it didn't have a good feel so I dismantled it it was a Losi mini rock crawler with motor on axle axles um, and it was just too much the axles were just too much for that little Losi so I've repurposed them and I like them here so far I haven't driven it of course because I'm just still piecing everything together um, the width is a little short for me but this might be good in helping to overcome obstacles and all so I'm gonna wait till I get some new tires on there to see what's going on um, stock axial frame and all with the axial battery tray up there I got my own links going on here um, using G made G transition shocks uh, not the greatest fan of these shocks but they do perform excellent um, I'm gonna have to go through the horrendous task of trying to rebuild these things but once I get them rebuilt correctly and get them installed I shouldn't have to mess with them again because they work great of course we're gonna do a dual motor setup in this but I also want to do a dual ESC so I can have a uh, individual control of front and rear put a four channel receiver on there and I'm going to do a under carriage battery mount so that the battery is as low as possible to keep the center of gravity as low as possible I'm going to keep this one low and barely clearing obstacles and have that power to just climb right over anything we need to um, so it's still a work in progress. I've just got it uh, mocked up right now. Now I start disassembly and um, greasing of these axles here. Uh, and clean all these parts up real good. Uh, get her fixed. We cross utilizing some other parts we have. Just a great way to clean up my my workshop and uh, get a nice AX10 out of it. I always wanted a really nice competition style low crawler so that's what I'm doing here. I also painted the body for it but I absolutely hate it. Um, not convinced on this body at all. You could kind of Give me a yay or a nay if you leave a comment and let me know what you think of this body. I can't stand it, but I've painted it. It's done. It fits. I brought it because it was a crawler style body, but I just can't stand the look of it. I put a little, a little spider web effect on there, and that's actually see-through. And then there's some flake on there. Um, I, I just I'm not convinced on the body but that may get changed as well painted it red which I'm not a huge fan of red but wanted to match the scheme so 
that's what I got so I'm going to continue working on this this is pretty much the intro of this project as I said I'm calling it Red Spider 